This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. This story comes from West Belfast in Northern Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom. An area that has seen great divide following the troubles in the 70s. And after the Good Friday Agreement, there was hope for the future. Mark Hall was a dissident Republican and on Saturday the 18th of December the 31 year old was shot dead inside his mother's home in the West Belfast area. Days before Christmas Mark was with his family in the living room of a family home. Other relatives were present at the time of the shooting and Mark's sister was walking home from the shop at the time. Initially we'll talk about the police report and then we'll see what the press has to say. We have to be very careful not to incriminate anybody for any crimes they haven't been convicted of as this is still currently an open investigation. The Belfast Telegraph newspaper reported that Mark Hall's sister was lucky to be alive after two gunmen narrowly missed her and shot through a handbag while shooting dead her brother. Superintendent Eamon Corrigan said what we currently know is that two gunmen approached Mark's family home in Rodney Drive shortly after 4.30pm. Mark's sister was returning from the local shops and she saw the gunmen approach the house and she tried to intervene before a number of shots were fired through the front window and they hit and fatally wounded Mark. A number of family members present in the room tried to help Mark and they all narrowly missed injury or death. The two gunmen made off, but not before they fired a shot at Mark's sister. Mark Hall was taken to hospital, and despite the best efforts of paramedics, he died a short time later as a result of his injuries. The superintendent added that the PSNI are keeping an open mind around the motive of the murder, but believed that it was a targeted attack. Mr Hall was a well-known criminal and had previously been charged with extortion alongside former UVF chief Davy Murphy. Davy Murphy was shot dead in 2019 for stealing weapons in an internal dispute amongst his own group. In some history relating to Mark Hall in 2018, him and Davy Murphy were charged with trying to extort 10 grand from a county Antrim farmer. And the 31-year-old was also good friends with Warren Crossan. He's the son of the slain continuity IRA boss, Tommy Crossan, and Warren was killed in June 2020 in a very similar way to Mark Hall. 20 minutes after the shooting of Mark, there was massive crowds in the street and the victim's friends gathered nearby. The police say that Mark was well known to police and part of a drug gang that was dealing drugs and breaking into homes of gun owners. The superintendent in charge of the case said two handguns were used and seven shots were fired and Mark's family are in a state of shock. Mr Hall leaves behind his partner Sabrina Wilde who is pregnant with their second child and he also has a daughter called Freya Hall. The police said that no family should have to go through this unbelievable heartbreak and there is no place for guns on the streets of Northern Ireland. The police went on to say they've launched a massive investigation and the PSNI's major investigation team are involved in the callous attack. They said it's too early to speculate even though they believe it's targeted and police will be working throughout the night to try to locate more evidence and also arrest suspects. At this moment in time, are there were two handguns. We know at least seven shots were fired. We have commenced a murder investigation following the brutal shooting of Mark Hall yesterday afternoon. What we currently know is that two gunmen approached Mark's family home on Rodney Drive shortly after 4.30pm yesterday evening, Saturday the 18th of December. Mark Hall had recently just come out of jail and he had recently also beaten gun and drug offences. His co-accused was called Abdul Rezk. And he was jailed for three years after the pair were found in a Balmoral hotel with two guns, a silencer and drugs. At the scene of the murder, police had shut down both sides of the street and witnesses said that they'd heard several shots, some even said eight shots, before the paramedics arrived, but they were sadly too late to save his life. And the main topic in Irish newspapers is about the connection between Mark Hall and other dissident Republicans. Mark's good friend Warren Crossan was also murdered, as I briefly mentioned, and Warren's dad, Tommy Crossan, was also murdered in a very similar fashion six years before. So to understand Warren's story, you have to understand his dad's story. Tommy Crossan served 
six years in Magaberry Prison for conspiracy to murder police officers. This was in relation to a gun attack that took place at a police station in West Belfast back in 2013. It was reported at the time that he was a former commanding officer of the Continuity IRA, a hardline Republican terrorist group that opposed the Irish peace process. Tommy Crossan was shot dead in broad daylight on Good Friday in 2014. The dad of six was shot seven times and once in the head by a gang that stormed a fuel depot that he owned in West Belfast. Sources understand that prominent dissident Republic Crossan was executed and was accused by former colleagues of being a British agent and touting to the PSNI and MI5 about high-profile dissident Republicans. A gang of three men in a red BMW car are believed to have carried out the murder and it was found burnt out two streets away minutes after the shooting. The incident happened shortly before his daughter, Joni, drove into the area to fill her car with diesel. It was terrible for his wife and children. Other than that, there is little sympathy for Tommy Crossan on the street. A heavy police presence was on Springfield Road in 2014 at around 5.15 on the day of the murder. A dozen police officers and tactical support were also present and a high alert order was put in effect across the area. A lot of family and friends came out for the murder of Crossan. A lot of people crying in the street. The Lord Mayor of Belfast condemned the murder of Tommy Crossan and said that the dissident Republican had known that he had death threats since 2011. The police believed this was internal and they said that Tommy had received death threats telling him to get out of Ireland or he'd be dead. But Crossan told a Belfast newspaper that I'm not going nowhere, my conscience is clear, I am no tout and I never would be. It goes against everything that I believe. I haven't stolen any IRA money and I haven't been involved in robberies. He said liars are trying to criminalise me and drive me away from my home, but I'm here to stay. Shortly afterwards, Tommy Crossan would be shot dead. The funeral cortege of Tommy Crossan was flanked by men wearing masks as the former CIRA boss was buried and shots were also fired over the coffin of the former leader on the evening before his funeral. In relation to the allegations that he was an informant to MI5, a police watchdog probe investigated allegations in 2019 after the discovery of surveillance equipment in the van of Tommy Crossan after his murder. The inquest heard about the murder of Tommy in 2014 and asked the police to establish how much they knew about previous threats to kill the former leader. And a barrister for the Crossan family told a preliminary hearing at Belfast Coroner's Court that they had been told that they would be finding out information very shortly about this. And even two years later in 2021, I still don't believe that they've actually answered as to why there was surveillance equipment in the van of Tommy Crossan. So this could mean a lot of different things, but one of them being is that maybe he was under surveillance and the information that was being used against them was actually being obtained illegally by MI5 and it was made to look like Tommy was giving them information. But until this inquiry is done and the inquest is heard, we can't know the exact facts. It was revealed at the funeral of Tommy Crossan that his son Warren had witnessed his father's murder and it was an event that had traumatised him. Father of two, Warren Crossan was shot dead 18 months before Mark Hall in 2020. He was shot dead in St. Catherine's Road in June. And two gunmen similar to Mark Hall chased him down and fired a number of shots in a busy residential street. Crossan, 28 years old, was previously arrested and questioned over the murder of Robbie Lawler. He was a Dublin criminal that was shot dead in Ardoy, North Belfast in April 2020. I covered the story of Robbie Lawler on the channel in depth and the story of Kean Woods. Warren Crossan was the son of Tommy Crossan, who was also shot dead, as we just discussed. And one of the chief suspects in the murder of psycho Robbie Lawler was dissident Republican Warren Crossan. He had received threats to his life, and he was shot dead in West Belfast in a similar fashion to his father. 
Detective Chief Inspector Darren McCartney said at the time, We have launched a murder investigation following the shooting of a man in his late 20s. We believe the man was chased on the junction of Rodney Parade and St James Road along a Rodney Parade by two gunmen that were wearing masks. He was shot a number of times at point blank range and this was a brutal murder and the brazen attack by the killers beggars belief. The police went on to say that they did not give any thought for the risk that was posed to the local community. They were just focused on killing Warren. My thoughts with the family, the police went on to say, and tonight they are in a state of shock and no family should have to go through this heartbreak. It is too early to speculate on the motive for the callous murder, but over the coming days we are trying to piece together any information and evidence. The Sunday World newspaper revealed at the time that Warren Crossan had worked very closely with Robbie Lawler in the drug trade before the feud in Drada. A theory being explored by investigators at the time was that Warren Crossan may have been targeted by Lawler's associates in revenge for his murder, but they also said that he had many other people that would have wanted him dead. And Robbie Lawler was suspected of at least five murders before his own murder last year. So as I said, this is a breaking news story. And there's a lot of history in West Belfast. But at the same time, we have to be very careful in the early stages of any investigations. With the murders of Warren and his father Tommy, nobody was ever convicted of their murders. But who knows in relation to the murder of Mark Hall. So I send my condolences to the family of Mark and everybody that has lost their life in the troubles in Belfast. And I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. And please don't forget to follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. Peace.